There's one I built yesterday. There's my dog. There's the one I did today. All the holes done, everything ground off, bearings put on. Hopefully it's straight. A bunch of cows. Baby Kathy playing. Idiot going way too fast on the road. Like motoring. The baby Kathy running. Play ball. Sunset. Sunset. All my bees. Well, what's left of them? Traco. Dog. Coco. Coco. Yeah. Just a little bit of a confusion. So, uh, three inch pipe. 2.5 inch wall. Well, I guess 250,000 walls is a quarter inch. And then I got two and a half inch pipe, 240 wall. So <clears throat> I thought for sure a two and a half inch pipe would be able to fit in a three inch pipe with two and a half inch wall. I was incorrect. It's like not even a millimeter, probably like 10 thousandths difference. Not even for the inside. To the outside so i gotta cut these pieces four inches so that uh i need eight of them gotta take do get them turned down on the inside a little bit because i can't find that size pipe anywhere and i really want this just to be replaceable not have to get it machined every time i'd rather machine this and said I can just replace that every time. But uh, another thing I did, it's on the frame. See, I got these welded on. So what I did was uh, I took this quarter inch wall tubing, inch and a half outside diameter, one inch inside diameter. My 13 16 bolts can fit through, but now I have that rigid piece of pipe inside in the middle where they're squishing down and now I can tighten those bolts as much as I want and it's not going to compress this and same with when the bearing tries to pull if the drum gets banged up in the mud it won't try and squish it down it can't because it's got that piece of pipe in there so what I did was just take the plasma cutter cut an inch and a half inch hole Slip that in and then welded it around the top, ground it down flat. So now I got those four cut out for the other one outside. And then this one, I need to make the holes a little bit bigger because my three inch pipe does not fit through there. So my next task right now is to be to cut the three inch pipe to just shy of four inches so that way I can weld it in top and bottom well I guess front side front side back side and then uh, that'll be rigid mounted in there and I need to make it four inches or just shy of four inches because this is four inches wide so if I make it just shy I can fill up in between but I want to make it four inches, so yeah, I got to make it four inches so that it sits up and down while he's rigid in there. Anyways, ooh, almost dropped my phone. I got to go start cutting those pieces now. So these are those pieces that go in between. I got four of them made because there's two in each side. And then uh, I got these ones all cut out. They are not very... I mean, they're close, but that one's tall. And they're not very flat. Chop saw was running out of blades, so you can see I was having to make like five different cuts just to go around it. So my neighbor's got a lathe. This...
doesn't quite fit. Like it almost does, but it just doesn't quite. So it's got to get every single one of these, those eight have to get shaved down so that uh, the other bushing will fit inside it because these are going to get put in. I got to cut these holes bigger. Those are going to get put in and I'm going to run a big pipe all the way through from the other side so they are true and straight and then I'll weld them in. And I'll hit the pipe out. And then I'll have straight bushings. But then I'll be pretty much ready to put those on the outsides. And then I got some more quarter inch to go from here to there. Because I just, I wanted it to be a little bit stronger. So I'll be able to put that on the inside and uh, make it half inch of steel here and a quarter inch there. So it'll be three quarters of an inch of steel. I think it would be good enough then. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So that pipe right there is gonna be the bushing. That's a pretty nice fit. So then this pipe will be all along the bolt and it'll be a little bit longer than the pipe, each square tubing. So that when I tighten the nut down, the bushing will stay with the, the bolt. And that way, because when you see, it's gonna have threads on there and I don't want the bolt to wear out. Cause these freaking bolts are like a couple hundred bucks. So rather not, I can replace the pipe easy. I can't replace the bolt easy. I mean, I can, it's money. They make them every day, but I'm not really interested in doing that. I think I like the flux cord wire better. It just seems to work better with this welder. It's smoother when it's feeding. Well, feeding when the sound it makes when it's welding sounds better. But it is what it is. I use what I got.